Hi, I'm Nick Lisitsky. This is the final episode of the third season of our show, The Magical World of Ukrainian Mythology. So it's time to dive into another important facet of Ukrainian mythology. Over the past few years on this channel, with support from the Ukrainian Cultural Foundation, we've explored 80 characters and themes from Ukrainian mythology. I've also hosted numerous webinars and lectures, and I'm often asked, what books do you recommend for a deeper understanding of our native mythology? Well, I'm here to answer exactly that. In this video, you'll find out which books on Ukrainian mythology are worth your attention. Works of the Ethnographic and Statistical Expedition to the Western Rus region by Pavlo Chubinsky. Pavlo Chubinsky, who penned the national anthem of Ukraine, is also known for one of the earliest comprehensive studies on Ukrainian mythology. This connection is quite symbolic. In 1869, Pavlo Trubinsky led an ethnographic expedition of the Russian Geographical Society to the southwestern region of the empire. Over the course of two years, the expedition examined the beliefs, customs, and traditions of the people in what were then the Kiev, Podil, and Volyn governance. The result of this research was a work published from 1872 to 1878. This work consists of seven volumes, but if you're specifically interested in mythology, you should focus on the first volume titled Beliefs and Superstitions, Riddles and Proverbs, Witchcraft. It covers the perceptions of Ukrainians of that time about their world, natural phenomena, mythical creatures, and spirits. The information in the book is organized by themes, includes direct quotes from eyewitnesses, and notes which region the testimonies were recorded in. Chubinsky's work is a primary source, so if you want to explore Ukrainian mythology through the lens of a 19th century field researcher, this book is exactly what you need. The only drawback is that the book is written in Russian, follows pre-revolutionary orthographic rules, and the testimonies are recorded with the phonetics of regional dialects. While not overly difficult, it may require some adjustment. Kutsushina, Part 5 by Volodymyr Shukhevich. Volodymyr Shukhevich, the grandfather of the Ukrainian insurgent army commander Roman Shukhevich, authored the five volume work Kutsushina, published between 1899 and 1908 in Lviv. Shukhevich began his study of Gutsushina in 1873 during one of his travels at the age of 24. His passion quickly evolved into a scientific pursuit, leading him to delve deeply into Gutsul folklore, lifestyle, and art. He spent each summer traveling through Gutsul villages and organized correspondence to help collect material. Starting in 1899, the Scientific Society of Shevchenko published the five volumes of this foundational work, which thoroughly describes the spiritual and material culture of Hutsulshina. The fifth volume focuses on folklore, including legends about gods, spirits, mythical beings, animals and plants, as well as stories and proverbs. In the preface, Shukhevich notes that the book is based entirely on materials he personally saw, heard, collected, or transcribed, meaning it is grounded in field research. Like Trubinsky's work, Hutsulshina is a primary source, but while Trubinsky's research covers the mythology of central and northern Ukraine, Shukhevich's book reveals the unique and mysterious myths of the Carpathian region. Shukhevich's book contains many dialectal words. However, at the end of the fifth volume, he thoughtfully included a glossary. So reading this book will not only deepen your understanding of Hutsul mythology, but will also help you better grasp the Hutsul dialect. Outline of Ukrainian Mythology by Volodymyr Khnatyuk. When you examine Slavic mythology, you'll find that the majority of the material is Ukrainian. Yet Ukrainians themselves neither know nor appreciate this because they don't know it. These words, though penned a century ago, still ring true today. 
ethnographer and folklorist Volodymyr Khlatyuk, wrote this in a letter to his colleague Ivan Pankievich on June 13, 1924, expressing his dream of publishing a popular science book, Ukrainian Mythology, to introduce a broader audience to Ukrainian myths and legends. Sadly, Khnatyuk did not live to see this dream fulfilled. Fortunately, however, the manuscript was preserved and after being held in the National Academy of Sciences archives for over 80 years, was finally published in 2000. Khnatyuk was an exceptionally talented and prolific scholar. Over his lifetime, he published nearly a thousand works. His contributions were highly praised by Ivan Franco, who described him as a phenomenally successful collector of ethnographic material, unmatched by any of our earlier collectors. Outline of Ukrainian Mythology is one of the first books to offer a comprehensive and systematic description of Ukrainian mythology. It is both scholarly, containing the results of Knyatyuk's ethnographic research, and accessible to the general reader. Pre-Christian Beliefs of the Ukrainian People by Metropolitan Ilarion Ivan Akhyenko this book is a unique instance where Ukrainian mythology is discussed by a member of the Orthodox clergy. It is presented not with condescension or condemnation, but with the impartiality of a genuine scholar. This is due to the exceptional background of the author, Metropolitan Ilarion, also known as Ivan Ochienko. Before being tonsured a monk at the age of 58 and taking the name Ilarion, Ivan Ivanovich Ochienko led a distinguished secular career. He taught at Kiev University, now Tarasovchenko National University, developed a course on Ukrainian culture, became the first rector of Kamyanets Podilsky State Ukrainian University, served as a minister of education and minister of religious affairs in the Ukrainian People's Republic, was a full member of the Shevchenko Scientific Society, taught at Warsaw University, published journals on the Ukrainian language and culture, and finally translated the Bible into Ukrainian. After his tonsure, Ivan Ochienko became a bishop and later metropolitan of Volynia and Podlakia. In 1947, he emigrated to Canada where he was elected head of the Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church in 1951. Despite his ecclesiastical position, Metropolitan Ilarion continued his scholarly and teaching activities. Pre-Christian Beliefs of the Ukrainian People was written while Ochienko was in Lausanne in 1946 and was revised multiple times before its publication in Winnipeg in 1965. In this book, Ukrainian mythology is presented as a coherent system of beliefs, complete with its ancient history and ideology, for the first time. Slavic Mythology by Alexander Geishtor Slavic Mythology by Alexander Geishtor is a book for those more interested in accurate facts and well-founded scientific hypotheses than in captivating legends and vivid images of mythical characters. Geishtor was a distinguished Polish historian, author of over 500 works including those on early medieval history and ancient Slavs. In Slavic Mythology, Geishtor presents a comprehensive overview of the development of Slavic tribal beliefs, combining techniques and materials from history geography, archaeology, ethnography, linguistic studies, and comparative religion. First published in 1982, Slavic mythology has been reissued several times in large print runs. An updated edition, incorporating additional materials from the author's manuscripts, was released in 2006. The book was translated into Ukrainian in 2014, with a new edition of the translation published in 2024. 100 Most Notable Images in Ukrainian Mythology, edited by Olena Talanchuk. The title of 100 Most Notable Images in Ukrainian Mythology accurately reflects the book's content. It provides systematic information about figures that have existed and continue to exist in Ukrainian beliefs. The book includes sections on Slavic gods, demonic creatures, people with supernatural abilities, plants, animals, as well as concepts of the universe, the afterlife, protective charms, and calendar rituals. Published in 2002, this book was compiled by a team of scholars under the guidance of Dr. Olena Talanchuk.
It is undoubtedly one of the best popular science books on Ukrainian mythology. It is grounded in scientific sources and examines our myths and legends within the context of global history and folklore, while also being written in an engaging and accessible manner for both adults and for younger readers. Hutsul Mythology by Natalia Khabze. Natalia Khabze's Hutsul Mythology, published in Lviv in 2002, is a significant work. The author dedicated many years to dialectology, ethnolinguistics, and studying the vocabulary of the Hutsul people. Therefore, the book is presented as an ethnolinguistic dictionary. However, it can only be considered a dictionary in form, as it arranges all the words alphabetically, which is quite convenient. In terms of content, Hutsul Mythology by Khobze is a thorough scholarly work that systematically presents information about ancient Hutsul beliefs and the remarkable mythical heroes of the Carpathian region. As noted in the preface, the book focuses on both real and mythical creatures. While such subjects have been explored in the history of ethnographic, folkloric, and linguistic studies of the Carpathians, this is the first time that the names of mythical beings are given such detailed attention. Ukrainian Mythology by Volodymyr Khalaychuk Volodymyr Vasilovich Khalaychuk is a Ukrainian folklorist, ethnologist, and professor at the Department of Ethnology, Historical Faculty at Taras Shevchenko National University of Kiev. In his scholarly work, Khalaychuk continues the traditions of prominent Ukrainian ethnographers of the past, Pavlo Chubinsky, Volodymyr Shukhevich, and Volodymyr Khnaychuk. Ukrainian mythology primarily draws from field research data, including ethnographic materials collected from Polisia, Volyn, Wykovshina, Kutsulshina, Pokutsya, and other regions of Ukraine. Ukrainian mythology provides detailed portraits of Ukrainian mythical characters described through the words of those who have directly carried these myths and legends, namely grandmothers and grandfathers who have lived or still live in our villages. The book is particularly vivid due to its extensive use of direct speech, preserving all dialectical and colloquial expressions. From Ukrainian mythology, readers can learn about how our ancestors envisioned characters like Chort and Domovik, Kholovantsya and Rusalki, Mavki and Witches. The book gathers perspectives from various people across different regions of Ukraine, offering a vivid illustration of the diversity and richness of these beliefs. Anthology of Ukrainian Myth in three volumes by Valery Voitovich. When searching for books on Ukrainian mythology, you'll inevitably come across the works of Valery Voitovich, a Ukrainian artist and writer from Rivne. Vojtovich's works are quite well known and popular, but there's an important consideration before diving into them. Vojtovich has authored several books related to Ukrainian mythology, including Ukrainian Mythology, Myths and Legends of Ancient Ukraine, Ukrainian Mythology Encyclopedia of Folk Beliefs, Ukrainian Mythological Studies, and the three-volume Anthology of Ukrainian Myth. While these books may appear authoritative, many professional historians and ethnographers view them with skepticism, as they often lean more towards fantasy than rigorous scholarship. Vojtovich's books create an impression that Ukrainian mythology is deeper and more intriguing than Greek, Scandinavian, or any other mythology. However, in his quest to depict comprehensive and vivid portrayals of our mythical heroes, and faced with a lack of reliable information about many of them, the author often resorts to imaginative reconstructions or cites pseudoscientific ideas. As a result, scholars tend to regard Vojtovich's works critically. Nevertheless, the three-volume anthology of Ukrainian myth by Valery Vojtovich is recommended for those of you interested in exploring our folklore. It compiles and organizes a vast amount of ethnographic data, from the records of Chubinsky and Dragomanov to folktales and songs. Ukrainian Mythology and Cultural Heritage by Alexei Kononenko Ukrainian Mythology and Cultural Heritage was first published in 2011. Its author, Alexei Kononenko, a Ukrainian poet, writer, journalist, and honored artist of Ukraine, has compiled an extensive amount of information on Slavic beliefs, rituals, legends, ancient gods, spirits, demons, mythical and fairy tale characters, as well as animal, plant, and calendar symbolism, among other elements of Ukrainian cultural heritage. In my view, Ukrainian mythology and cultural heritage is one of the best options for an initial introduction to Ukrainian mythology. It is written in a clear 
clear and accessible manner, making it suitable for both children and adults. It also offers a great opportunity to appreciate the richness of Ukrainian mythological traditions. It's worth noting that Kononenko's book covers not only Ukrainian but also broader Slavic mythology, including elements of what is sometimes referred to as cabinet mythology. The author is usually upfront about the geographical origins and potential fictional aspects of the characters discussed. In 2023, the book was reissued in a five-volume format. So make sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated on new episodes and share our project with your friends and family. Let's spread the word about Ukrainian mythology together. The third season of The Magical World of Ukrainian Mythology was made possible with the support of the Ukrainian Cultural Foundation through the Stipend Grant Program.